This is Cambridge IGCSE, paper 0580, component 42, February, March 2016. Let's continue with question number 3, part A. The vendor asked some people if they ate mangoes, pineapples, or bananas last week. So M stands for people who ate mangoes, P stands for people who ate pineapples, and B stands for people who ate bananas. The Venn diagram shows some of the information. So as you can see, this circle is named M, people who eat mangoes. Same goes for P, people who eat pineapples. And then for B, people who eat bananas. And this one represents people who didn't eat any of the fruits. And this is the, some extra information that is given. 19 people said they ate mangoes. Six people said they ate only pineapples. 18 people said they ate exactly two of the three types of fruit. So before me, we move on to the questions, let me explain this Venn diagram. So as you can see, 19 people said they ate mangoes. So the total number, total number of people who eat mangoes is 19. But the 19 are also divided into different categories as in out of those 19 five people only ate mangoes as you can see this is this number five is not intersecting with any of the circles so five out of 19 people only ate mangoes and then we move on to this number seven it stays seven people among those 19 ate both mangoes and pineapples but not the banana since the banana banana circle is not intersecting with the other two circles and this number four right here so four out of 19 people ate both mangoes pineapples and bananas since all the three circles are intersecting in this area Let's begin with question number one. Write the three missing values in the Venn diagram. As you can see in red, these are the missing values. Since it is mentioned, 19 people said they ate mangoes. So in total, the total number of people who ate mangoes should be equal to 19. Therefore, we add all the numbers in the mango section so 5 plus 7 plus 4, which is equal to 16. But here it states 19 people said they ate mangoes. So in order to make it 19, we should will write 3 over here. So now as you can see, the total of the total number of people who ate mangoes is 19. The second line states 6 people said they ate only pineapples. Now this section right here is the number of people who only ate pineapples since no circle is intersecting with this area. So the answer will be 6. Only 6 people, they only ate pineapples and they didn't eat any other fruit. The last part states 18 people said they ate exactly 2 of the 3 types of fruit. So over here, 5 people, 5 6 and 12 they ate only one type of fruit and 4 in the middle represents that these number of people ate all types of fruit so where we have to focus is the number 3 7 and 8 since the, this represents the people who e ate exactly two out of three type of fruits the first one is already given seven people ate mangoes and pineapples but not bananas over here we the answer to the first one three people ate mangoes and bananas but not pineapples so the answer to this one the last one will be eight since if we add all if we add all the numbers three plus seven plus eight so that will be equal to 18 so eight would be the answer and which concludes that the total number of people who exactly ate two of the three types of fruit are 18. 
Let's move on to the second question. Find the total number of people the vendor asked. So it's very simple. We just have to add all the numbers in the Venn diagram. The number of people in the number of people in mangoes, pineapples, and bananas. And don't forget this one, since this one represents the number of the, the person who didn't eat any of the fruits. So if we add them all, we get the answer as 46. We have added all the values in the Venn diagram, 5 plus 7 plus 4 plus 3 plus 6 plus 8 plus 12 plus 1 equals 46. Let's move on to the third part. So the number of, peop number of people, so the number of M intersection P, mangoes intersecting P, this basically means the number of people, people who ate mangoes and pineapples. So as you can see, Number seven represents the number of people who ate both mangoes and pineapples, but not bananas. So this will be counted. And this number four right here states the number of people who ate mangoes, pineapples and bananas. But since this include the number of people who ate mangoes and pineapples, then this will be also counted and the total number of People who ate pineapple, mangoes and pineapples will be 7 plus 4 equals 11. So as you can see, number of people who, eat, who ate mangoes and pineapples, 7 plus 4 equals 11. Let's move on to part 4. One person is chosen at random from the people who ate mangoes. Write down the probability that this person also ate bananas. So the total number of people who ate mangoes were 19 as mentioned in this first line 19 people said they ate mangoes now we have to find the probability that these per these people who ate mangoes also ate bananas this three right here represents the number of people who ate mangoes and bananas and this four right here number of represents number of people who ate mangoes pineapples and bananas but since both include the, no, the number of people who ate uh, mangoes and bananas regardless of whether they did eat pineapple or not. So the total number of people who ate mangoes and bananas will be 3 plus 4 equals 7 and the num total number of people who ate mangoes were 19. So the probability will be 7 over 19. So the total number of people who ate mangoes equals 19 and people who eat both bananas and mangoes equals 3 plus 4 which is 17 so the probability will be the fraction of that probability will be 7 over 19 there was a mistake here it wasn't true it wasn't total mangoes it was total number of people who ate mangoes so i fixed it so the answer is 7 over 19 let's move on to part b of this question number three, Evander draws a speed time graph for his for, for his bus journey to the market. As you can see, this is the speed time graph. X axis represents seconds time, and the Y axis represents the speed. Let's move on to part one. Find the acceleration of the bus during the first two hundred seconds. So acceleration is basically the, the speed over time which is quite simple if we refer to the graph since the time is already given acceleration of the bus during the first 200 seconds so by referring to the graph we now have to find the speed at 200 seconds and as you can see the speed at 200 seconds is 9 meter per second so the acceleration will be speed over time which will be 9 over 200 and the answer is 0 0.045 meter per second squared since it has acceleration. Part 2. Find the total distance traveled by the bus. So in a speed time graph, speed time graph, the total distance traveled by any of the vehicle is the is the area under that graph. So as you can see, this is the speed time graph given. And the area under this, this graph, the whole graph, 
will be the total distance traveled by the bus in this case. So as you can see in this graph, in order to calculate the total area, we have to divide this graph into three parts, two triangles and one rectangle. So the first triangle would be, the area of this first triangle would be the area, the, the formula of the triangle the area formula of the triangle is 0 0.5 into base multiplied by height. So in this case, the first triangle 0 0.5 into base, which is 200, as you can see from the graph, into height, which is 9. Plus, the area of this rectangle, but the, but the width, but the length of the triangle will be 1100 minus 200 since we have already covered the area of this triangle so the, so the area of that rectangle will be 900 into 9 since the since the width is 9 meter per second and finally we add those areas to the last triangle to the area of the last triangle which is 0 0.5 into the base in this case we have to subtract 1500 minus 1100 since the rest of it is covered by the triangle and the rectangle area we calculated before. So in this case, the area of this rectangle will be 0 0.5 into 400 into 9. The height of the triangle is again 9. As you can see, the total distance and the total distance equals the uh, area under the graph, not the distance. Sorry for this. which is 0 0.5 into 9 into 200, the area of the first triangle, plus the area of the rectangle, which is 900 into 9, plus the area of the second triangle, which is 0 0.5 into 400 into 9, which sums up to 10,800 meters. So the final answer is 10800, 10,800 meters. Now the last part is, find the average speed of the bus for the whole journey. So in order to find the average speed, the formula is total distance, the total distance traveled by the bus divided by the total time it took for the journey. As you can see, we already calculated the total distance, which is 10,800 meters over the total time. If we refer to the graph, the total time or the end time is 1500 seconds. So we divide 10,800 over 1500, which equals to 7.2 meter per second. So the average speed at which the bus was moving is 7.2 meter per second.